welcome and or welcome back to a brand new video my name is ashley and i share this channel with my twin sister courtney so you get two different houses on one channel right now as you guys can see i am giving you an overview of how messy my living room is now is it that bad no but it does need a deep clean you know the spots you really don't see as much um that need to get wiped down like here on the couch over here. it's like milk or yogurt something like that so I'm just giving you a close-up of how much dog hair and dirt is on the carpet and stuff and this is my brand new carpet if you guys haven't seen it yet I'm obsessed with it and I love it let me know what you guys think if you love it or hate it you will not hurt my feelings I promise just let me know if you're into this type of style of rug but anywho, as you guys could tell from the intro, um, we are getting into it today. We are deep cleaning my living room. We are deep cleaning my kitchen. So if you need some motivation to clean either room in your house today or just simply a room in your house, um, I think this video will do it for you. Um, I think that's about it for now. Um, I will be playing some music, popping in and out here and there. Um, I do hope you enjoy today's deep clean. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you haven't yet, please um, subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every single time we upload a brand new video. All right, guys, let's play this music and get into it. I'm getting on about I still can't read a vibe. Cause my world is on fire, but to say I am so sorry about some of these angles where the camera is tilted and stuff it's just hard for me to see it um on the phone that I used to record like <clears throat> sorry about that it's just hard to see um because I use a phone to record my cleaning videos like a separate phone and it's hard to see on um, the screen and especially when it's like above my height so when I look at it it looks like it's straight but technically it's not because the angle that I look at it is on the right hand side and if you notice it tilts lower on the right hand side of the videos because that's the side I typically stand on to see if it's straight so to me it looks straight and then when I go to upload it and go to edit the videos I'm a little crooked so <laughs> I can say some of us are probably a little crooked you know <laughs> um but anyways I am so sorry about that I'm trying my best with trying to um, keep it as straight as possible. Um, I use iMovies, but I know, um, I forget the other app. Oh my God. What is it? Um, Adobe or whatever that other app is that you have to pay for to edit videos on, which I'm just, I can't see myself spending the money to do that when I have iMovies. 
but um I guess you can like fix it in there or something but um I mean I don't, it's not too bad right you guys can still see what I'm doing <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going in, wiping, literally wiping down everything. Everything is getting wiped down, so that way it is dust-free. And I noticed this time with dusting and deep cleaning my house, um, everything is stuck on more than an easy wipe, if that makes any sense. Like, you know how you can kind of just go by and wipe it down and it's off? Well, I think because it's been so hot and the air has been a little bit moist and sticky, that it's making, it made the dust, um kind of stick to the surface more than it normally would so I do have to put a little bit of a scrub to it not like anything crazy but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean and instead of just quickly wipe and go it's more of a wipe wipe and go <laughs> so yeah um it's gonna it takes a little bit longer than usual com compared to where I can just wipe and go um, I'm wiping down the, the mirror down here because the baby loves to put his fingerprints all over it and that's why I, I typically keep that mirror there now because if not, I would have been moved it. But the kids love to use it and sit there and stuff like that. And he loves to stare at himself, um, eat his snacks. It's the funniest thing ever. He, like, watches himself chew. I just love it. Um, and then, like, he'll play with his toys underneath there and stuff like that. It's, like, his own little space. Oh, his own little, like, getaway, you can say. His little hideout. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to wipe down every little thing. Um, using that all-purpose cleaner, which is the Mr. Clean or Spick and Span. I can't remember which one it is because they're both green. So I, I can't, I don't remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Spick and Span just because um, the scent isn't um, strong like the Mr. Clean scent. Face. Guy and told me that's what you needed. That's in my face. Yeah, cause you were kind of one and that was easy Watching, waiting Watching, waiting, problems Watching, waiting Watching, waiting, problems Baby, I want that you take it out of me No, baby, that this was the But I still play the scene No, baby, as you inch yourself on your breath But in my head I still think you mean it Thoughts left unsaid You're fading fast, common sense depleted Oh no Watching, waiting to deep clean this couch um, I do have a question and please please let me know if you uh, can provide me with the answer um, what patching leather patching kit um, works best for 
um, these couches and stuff like that because I really do want to repair it. But it just there is so many leather patching kits out there that I don't know which one to buy. Some of them like it seems like they're good, and then some, and then it like you know the reviews are good, and then you see like the overview, like their photos or whatever is not that good and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just very daunting to figure out um which one to buy so if you have a leather couch and you've had to like repair the leather on it and you've bought the kit and you think it works very well now it doesn't have to be perfect or great or anything like that just let me know which one it is um that you use down below it'd be greatly appreciated because i don't want the couch to get worse so please let me know if you have any recommendations or if you know somebody that used one and just let me know down below, please, 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 because uh, I really want to get this done before it gets worse or anything like that. I mean, it hasn't gotten any worse, but before it does get worse. But um, yeah, so I'm getting in here. I took my little crevice tool. Um, I'm getting in all of the nooks and crannies on the couch to get all the dog fur, um, the food and the dust and everything off of the couch. And then we get into actually wiping down the couch. I use um, a, a bowl with a cotton rag. I believe that's what it is. I don't know what's going on in my voice. I am so sorry, guys. With a little bit of Dawn dish soap. That is all I am using to wipe down my couch now i did want to go in with that finish that finish spray that you guys typically see me use if you've watched our channel before you know that i use like this finish spray that is like a non-name brand from a cleaning company um i used to work for a long 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 time ago with my sister-in-law um to use that but i totally blanked on putting it on afterwards which is fine it's, it's okay because i really just wanted to get the job done to move on to the kitchen so, yeah, typically I would have used that finished spray. So, yeah. And then I think that's it. Oh, I'm all over the place. But, yeah. So, yeah, I just let me know if you uh, have any recommendations or if you used any uh, leather repair kits for, the, for your couch or furniture or whatever the case may be. Please let me know. Truthfully, you'll be all mine, all mine, all mine Talk to me, wanna know why You believe that you're not my type Truthfully, you'll be all mine, all mine, all mine I wanna put you in my pocket Take you everywhere I go Everywhere I go I wanna put you in my pocket Take you everywhere
I'm hoping you guys don't hear the fan and the AC in the background from here on out with my voiceover, but it is a very hot day. But I have finally moved on to the trash can. Um, it's a recycling slash regular trash um, bin holder. And let me tell you guys, it is extremely disgusting. I've been meaning to clean this out for a long time, but it just seems so daunting to me and just really nasty. But I was like, okay, it's getting to the point that like, I don't even want to touch the trash can. So yeah, I'm the one that usually takes the trash out anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Just taking that out. And then what we do now and oh yeah, my oldest takes out the recycling. So I take out the trash. He takes out the recycling. So as you guys can see, that's just from underneath it. And mind you, there are bins inside of this trash can and that ended up on the floor. So imagine what the inside is going to look like. Um, I do sweep it up very quickly and then off camera because later on my cam my phone ended up either overheating or um, the battery died. I don't know which way it was from being outside. So I do end up wiping it down spraying and wiping it down this area You don't see me do that, but I do show you it clean if that makes any sense, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go in with my uh, broom and uh, Sweep it up which I forgot. I even like took it outside It's like one of those things like when the electricity goes out and you still turn the switch light on and you know It's like oh, yeah, duh. It's not gonna turn on. I was like, oh, yeah Let me sweep it up and throw it away and I was like, oh crap. I don't have the trash can here So I luckily I had some um grocery bags to throw that into but I thought it was pretty funny I was like oh my god doll like I literally just took it outside and I'm literally cleaning up the mess from the trash can you think I'd remember but clearly I didn't <laughs> here we are outside with my nasty trash can so this is the trash side um look at how nasty that is I feel like it's not picking up that well because it's so bright outside but this is it with the bin still in there see the bin needs to get cleaned out as well like I said I was trying my best it was hard to honestly see my screen to see if I was actually recording like what I needed to record it, it was really hard to record outside definitely underestimated that I thought it was going to be easier but I was like I can't even see the screen see like right there I thought I was recording down below in the corner because the reflection but really um I was just recording <laughs> the wall like it was a mirror <laughs> but yeah so and then I was like oh yep here it is here is the damage all in the corners and the crevices and that's the recycling side which I do give you a overview and then I got a bucket with um not a bucket but whatever you call this container I can't remember a bowl um with water and dawn dish soap and the uh cotton rag and that's the recycling side how nasty is that oh my goodness but at least down um down below on like the trash can area um it wasn't as bad but you do see me scrub this guy out give it get it all nice and shiny put a little bit of elbow grease and i use the hose that was the main reason why i brought it outside was because one it was just really extremely disgusting there was no way i was cleaning that in my house and two i knew the power of the hose would help with um cleaning it out quickly and efficiently <laughs>
almost done cleaning out the trash can and look guys you can already tell the difference isn't that just crazy but i do just give it a good rinse off with the hose power it down and then i let it air dry outside which i do show you the clip of it um, air drying outside but once i am done with this i move on to the kitchen area give you the dirty overview and then we get into scrubbing a few things in the kitchen to give it a nice little a deep clean here it is all cleaned out um look at, at the difference guys you couldn't even see the bottom of these trash bins the walls are all clean and shiny in there the outside's nice and shiny everything has a reflection to it you know and it, it just looks so clean now i don't mind touching the trash as where it is that sounds <laughs> i don't mind um you know putting some trash in the trash can so yeah like i said i do give you um a uh, little clip towards the end of this um to show you it air drying outside for a little while because i wasn't gonna get um one of our towels to wipe this clean um like i said it just just this really just uh disgusted me and freaked me out a little bit so we're just gonna let this bad boy air out in some heat um disinfect a little bit and get nice and clean found myself smiling more the moment you leave, I feel down again I talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope For a minute, I let you know when to let go. You give a little love with a little sun everywhere you go, everywhere you run. You never say a word, even when it hurts. Everywhere you go, everywhere you're smiling. You make it look easy. I don't understand how you can love me. you are enjoying the video so far um, if you're feeling a little bit generous just give it a thumbs up share it out and make sure you guys subscribe and hit that um, bell button so you get notified every single time we upload brand new videos but here I am I'm just wiping down the stove I really want to get those knobs off because I couldn't tell you the last time I've taken those off to clean my stove to be honest with you um, I wanted to get behind there because you know a lot of grease and build up 
um, does get behind those knobs and everything like that so I just threw them in the sink for later on for when I do have to wash the dishes now I do want to say for anybody new here with my sink um, the left hand side is all clean dishes the right hand side is all dirty dishes um, as you guys can tell I do not have a lot of counter space in this tiny kitchen so that is how I do my dishes to each their own um, you know just wanted to let everybody know that that whole sink is not all dirty dishes and thank the Lord because sometimes I do have that much um, on the dirty side but on count it in the sink and on the counter so luckily um, I didn't have much to wash in this video today and it saves you guys time and it saves me a lot of editing time so <laughs> yeah so I, and I do want to say importantly that uh, this was the time when you do see me hand wash the dishes that's the time my phone either my recording phone either um, overheated from being outside or the battery died I don't know which one it was but either way it stopped recording when I was in the middle of me washing dishes so you will only see a little bit um, of that which I hope you guys are not disappointed within that but I am glad that it, you did see um, me at least wash um, a little bit of dishes um, now I'm just going in and wiping down everything on the counter is moving them out of the way wiping down the backsplash because like I said things do get nasty and greasy in the kitchen whether we like it or not um, the sooner you get it off the surface the easier it is to get it off if not you're gonna have that build up that yellowy um, RNG dots that you guys sometimes see is grease and stuff like that so before it gets to that point of it being like a yellowy orangey color um, you might as well do it sooner than later than you having to get in there with the scraping um, it all off and getting an extra heavy duty type of cleaner so yeah so I'm just gonna wipe everything down put the clean dishes away and wa hand wash a few dishes once I am done wiping down the, the kitchen area I mean, the counter, <laughs> the countertop area. <laughs>
finally got all of the clean dishes put away there was a lot to put away but thank the lord that at least they were clean and now that was over and done with but um i still haven't been able to get a scrubby i don't a scrubber or a scrub brush um i don't remember if i mentioned this in any of my previous videos but my dollar tree has been well not closed but like under new management so they've been closed um not allowing anybody in yet so and i keep forgetting to go to the other Dollar Tree that's near my house but not near my house so I keep using the same sponge that I use the dish for the dishes and I really don't like to do that but I don't want to waste sponges um, because I'm cheap <laughs> so I really don't want to waste if I don't have to and I'm fine with you know waiting and you know it gets the job done and everybody's fine and nobody's gotten sick so everything <laughs> everything's going good so um, once again I'm just using my foam spray um, which, um, I've said uh, before, sorry if you guys hear me say this all the time, but I literally f love that I found this invention. Um, I got it, I got it from the Dollar Tree. So if you go to your Dollar Tree and you see the Palm Olive, the Palm Olive, um, soap spray bottle, definitely purchase that bad boy. Um, definitely worth the dollar, dollar twenty five because honestly, you can use that spray, the spray handle itself on any bottle that it fits on. All you have to do is add a couple pumps of soap in there and dilute it with a whole bunch of water and you have your own spray bottle. Or you can keep it with the same spray bottle and just add your own soap to it and it makes it foam. Literally the best thing in the world. I highly, highly recommend you go and do that so that way you don't have to waste your money on those small bottles from the dawn power wash or power i forget what they call it but you know exactly what i'm talking about the dawn soap with the, the foam sprayer where it has the little bottle um now i can just make my own and it's way cheaper that way and i don't have to keep purchasing um that bottle and stuff like that like you normally would have to do but here i am just hand washing um the dishes here um, that was when I foam put the foam spray on here and I added a little bit more soap and some hot water. So we're just going to scrub them down, get as much grease and food off of these bad boys. And then, like I said, my camera did die. I didn't get much footage, but at least now you see me washing them. And it does give you some a little bit of motivation to hand wash your dishes if you're like me and you do not have a dishwasher. Love disconnection, love disconnection, love disconnection. Only you can turn me on. Show me direction, show me direction, show me direction. Only you can show me now. Love disconnection, love disconnection, love disconnection. Only you can turn me on. Show me direction. Show me direction, show me direction Only you can show me now Love disconnection, love disconnection, love disconnection, only you can turn me on. Show me direction, show me direction, show me direction, only you can show me now. Love disconnection. All right, guys, and here is the kitchen all cleaned, tidied up. The tra the tra <laughs> can't talk. trash can is all nice and clean. Look at how nice and shiny my sink is. Everything is just so nice and clean for now until it has until uh, dinner time comes. But even then, it will be an easy pickup because everything's put away where it belongs. Everything's nice and wiped down. 
but you know what thank you so much for sticking to the end thank you for the support from all you guys and if you haven't yet and you're really feeling generous please subscribe and hit the bell thank you so much for choosing to watch my video today even though you didn't have to and thank you very much for sticking it out to the end it means more than you guys will ever know and i will see you guys next week with a brand new video stay tuned for courtney's video on saturday bye guys